thing. Not one time did Yebo say, man, I was trying to blow. I had put it all on the line and I was just waiting, man, to do. Once he gained the audience, he started catering to that audience and it took off. That's what happened with him. He wasn't trying to blow up, bro. You feel me? Like, I feel like he was trying to do music. He was trying to do music. Now, uh, granted that, you know, he, he wanted some more fun so that he could do more music. So he was working and stuff like that. And it just happened for him that way. YBN Namir. That's another name. YBN Namir was not trying to blow up. Of course, you're going to give it an effort to try to promote your music when you do it. You want it to be heard. So he did a lot of things to, to get his music heard. And it just took off. People posted it. It kept it, it blew up, bro. Like everybody that blow up out the city, they don't be Oh, Lil Soldier. When Lil Soldier blew up, he wasn't trying to blow. Lil Soldier just Lil Soldier just trying to get his music heard, bro. They were just going hard trying to get that music heard, and it got heard by the right people. You feel me? It got heard in another market. You know what I'm saying? They did what it take. Everybody that that's blown up, thirty ball man for real, for real. Thirty ball just wanted to be heard. You know what I'm saying? Like when me working with Thirty Ball, she wanted to be heard. Not one time did she say, "Man, I'm trying to blow up." You feel me? She was like, I'm, "I want my music heard. I want my videos seen." You know what I'm saying? So a lot of these people, they want the people that want to be heard and want to be seen, and they take them different steps. They get there, bro. Like they get there. You feel me? Like if you if you putting it out, nothing, nothing, nothing disturbs me more than somebody that's putting pressure on you on trying to blow up. Man, I'm trying to blow, kid. I ain't gonna need lie. This is my last shot. Man, I done put my all into this. I done put blood, sweat, and tears into this. Well, me too, nigga. Shit, I done put blood, sweat, and tears in this shit too. I done lost a lot of folks along the way. Nigga, low-key traumatized with this shit. But I ain't gonna stop, though. You feel me? That's how we go. That's what. That's how we go. That's how we go. What up, son? I see you on now. Tap in with me too, man. I, ain't, I you know, I, you know, I know you're going to the A. Hey, tap in with me. But that's what I think happened. I think that we got so wrapped up in trying to blow up till we uh we got distracted from the goal, and the goal is to be heard and to be seen. You want your music heard. You want your videos seen. So of course you got to take different steps, and you got to network, do this, that, and the third. Get on this platform. Get on that platform. To have your music heard because you got a message in your music. You feel me? Like you have a purpose with your music. So if you want people to hear it, you got to go hard. You got to stay consistent. Man, some people, you could be doing music 20 years. Like, and, and, and some blow up. You know what I'm saying? And you make everything back that you've invested into it. It only take one chance, but it only take one time. So I feel like that's what happened. No, it's not the drill music. Now, mind you, drill music, uh, it's a little sketchy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you know. Trey Cash, what it do? But yeah, Frank Nitty, what it do? But yeah, it's, it's, it's deeper than just, oh man, uh, they start doing drill music, start killing each other. A lot of them don't invest in themselves either. They expect the fall in their hand. People you name took the extra step to get heard. They only see the outcome. They don't see the process. Right, bro. Right, right. Who else? Uh, uh. Who else, who else kind of got up in there, uh, that I left out? I said Yavo. I said YBN Amir. I said, uh, TLE Cinco. Uh, to be real with you, bro, I was right there for that Cinco movement. Like, when that TLE Cinco movement had kicked off, I was right there, bro. I shot like one of the first videos to, well, I did, well, I shot one of the first videos to kind of, I guess, blow up. Uh, Cinco, I can't say Cinco. Of course, everybody want to blow up, but the main goal is to be seen and heard. You know what I'm saying? You're an artist. You want your music seen and heard. So once you approach it that way, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, I'm going to do what I, I'm going to do what I got to do to get, to get my videos seen or to get my music heard. You're going to go to the biggest platforms. You're going to go to me. You're going to go to Niles Bryan. You're going to go to a uh, lawn chair youth. You're going to go to, uh, everybody who's doing numbers. You know why you go to us? Because we going to push it and we got big platforms that's going to like supersede just hustling. See, one thing you can run into out here with these videos is you can run into a video hustle, hustler, and you'll get hustled. All he going to do is shoot your video and give it to you. He ain't going to promote it for real. So guess what? 
you 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 damn near running backwards. You know what I'm saying? Like now, one granted now, once you you've already built your own platform, sometimes it really don't matter who who you shoot with. You know what I'm saying? Like if you already got your audience that to to the point the way you want it. You know what I'm saying? You can go to different camera people, but for the most part, my advice is to go to people that you know that's trying to build platforms and to diversify your audience. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, now's now's got a few more uh different people than I do watching my platform. So you definitely want to go to him. You want to go to Carlisle because a lawn chair youth because they got different people. RM couches, like these people got platforms that you can be seen and heard on. So take advantage of those and stay consistent. You know what I'm saying? I look at somebody like GML Fat Boy. I, I left him out. That's somebody to me that has went up with this music stuff. Fat Boy didn't come at me like, Kim, I'm trying to blow, bro. Fat Boy was like, I'm hard. I need to be heard. I need to be seen. Seen like you got a pretty decent amount of people watching your platforms. So I'm going to fuck with you. I'm going to go to Niles because he got... You know what I'm saying? Certain people watching his platform, I'm going to go to him. You feel me? I'm going to go to Cam. I'm going to go to different people that's going to get my shit seen, bro. For real. For real. Like, pay attention to who promoting, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you. If you got a platform already built, you may not need, you know, the big platforms or the bigger platforms. But if you're trying to get your, your shit seen and heard, bro, you got to go to different folks. You know what I'm saying? Like, and we ain't gonna even talk about the developmental process, like going to different producers, uh, like 93 Michi, you feel me? Like a uh, produced by a person, like people like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, we we ain't gonna even talk about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause that's that's already you gotta already have that coming to the platform. Like, you know, you gotta make now if you're trying to develop a sound and you're trying to be different, you may want to diversify your producers. You may want to go to a bunch of producers. Some people stick with one producer and work it that way. You know what I'm saying? I've seen it work all kind of way. I've seen Tab, I've seen people go to Hood Zone. I've seen people go to all these people and diversify their audience. You know what I'm saying? And then once you diversify your sound and you, you know, whoop de whoop, then you come to me. Then you come to now, then you come to Cam, then you come to uh uh, big field. You feel me? Like it's a lot of us out here. You can go to Tower. You feel me? Tower Grayson. You know what I'm saying? But it's just a certain way you want to approach it. But the main goal is to be heard. You know what I'm saying? You have a voice. You know what I'm saying? You trying to speak to the masses. Go to who you can go to, bro. I don't knock nobody. That's what happened. Y'all forgot. Y'all forgot. That's all it is. Everybody got so caught up on trying to blow up. Till you got jealous of somebody that blow up and it kind of discouraged you. Imagine if I had a did that, bro. If I had a did that, then I wouldn't be doing what I do right now. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't have kept going. If I had said, damn man, look at water whipping Evan. You know what I'm saying? He kind of, I, I kind of feel like water whipping Evan came right in, shot the right video, went straight to California. Now he's shooting. I'm seeing his videos all on TV and shit. I'm, that don't discourage me one bit. I'm happy for you, bro. Like, do your thing. Like, I ain't tripping. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Your story ain't my glory. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody got their own walks of life. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got their own driven purpose towards what they do. You know what I'm saying? I know why I came in it, and I'm still in it for that same reason, bro. I want to give you a platform. I want to give you, I want to, I want to, uh, take, take your, take your, uh, music with my vision and get it to the right folks. For real. That's that's what it is. That's what it is. That's what it is. Now, I feel like if you jumping in here trying to... Uh... Oh, okay, we got a question. Uh, I be using drum dummy. Yeah, he's straight. Uh, MCL Doran. What role does consistency play as an artist? Because some people say, don't drop too much because you waste money. How true is that? That's a lie. I feel like that's a lie. I feel like, um, I feel like drop as much as you can, but um, have a plan when you drop. Like, you know, I wouldn't just scatter my music all out like that. Like, actually approach dropping your music with a plan. Like, if you're going to shoot X amount of videos, you know what I'm saying? I believe in projects. I come from the early 2000 era of music when people was dropping whole mixtapes. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like if you dropping visuals, you should be having a track list. I can't ever remember 
a, a, a classic EP more than I can remember a classic album or a classic mixtape. So your body of work uh, goes aligns with like your uh, your success journey to me. Like like for example, I use Ray World De Niro. Ray World De Niro. What I like about him is his releases are organized. You know what I'm saying? Like if you if you look up Ray World De Niro right now, he got multiple albums. And on those albums, he have lead videos. There are certain videos that will promote the whole album. I like his formula because that's really the industry formula. It's like, okay, you go and make a song, you go and drop a video, and then once it take off, now you need to put out a body of work that that, that video can promote. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not opposed to shooting all the, the videos on the album, but I feel like, you know, when you dropping singles and videos, you should be you should be lining that up with a body of work. PZ205 do the same thing. PZ205 got multiple albums out there. You know what I'm saying? And like he shoots videos to promote those bodies of work. You know what I'm saying? And also it's lucrative. The more the more albums you drop, the more chances you got at like the income, you know what I'm saying? Like the law of averages states, the more you do something, the more like the more chances you have to like be successful or reach your goal at what you're trying to do. So, yeah. So, I mean, the more albums you drop, the you know, the more capital you building up. You feel me? That's just how that go. But uh, I just been running my mouth, man. I ain't really been looking at a lot of uh, people that's on here, but. I feel like back to the back to the subject at hand. I feel like what happened to Birmingham music scene? Jealousy. I feel like uh, people felt like certain folks got further along than they did, and they, you know, they feel like they deserved it. And it's kind of discouraging when your family egging it on too. You feel me? Like if your family saying, "Well, dang, such and such got on, and you didn't," man, you gotta block that out because it's a bigger, it's a bigger, like gonna say, it's a bigger picture, bro. It's a bigger picture. Then somebody that just got on, like, on some fluke shit. Like, man, it's a bigger picture, bro. And then if y'all notice, we've been around long enough to see the end of these major contracts being given out. You know what I'm saying? The major contracts started in Birmingham uh, with this new era, I would say, like, 2017. Man, we done seen them run their course. You feel me? Like, we done seen them. So, I mean, I feel like nobody's no better than you. Like if you dropping consistent, you know what I'm saying? You, you strategizing and, and you releasing your music and you, you putting out your bodies of work to match those videos and stuff like that. I feel like you can take yourself somewhere. Uh, the, what you should be doing as a, as a human being on this earth is to go from one, you should be going from one place to another. That's what you should be doing. The, the entire duration of your career as an artist, as a cameraman, as a producer, whatever, you should be going from one place to another. You know what I'm saying? That could be you going from 500 subscribers to 10,000 subscribers to 20 K subscribers to 50 K you going from one place to another. You know what I'm saying? You getting different looks for your business. Business. You know what I'm saying? You building your portfolio so that 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 it that, you know what I'm saying that you know that it look like it's progressing. You know what I'm saying? I feel like what happened was people felt like certain folks got opportunities that they think they should have got. That's what happened, bro. Like it ain't nothing else other than that. It ain't like we went up on the videos. You know what I'm saying? Everybody video price still around the same range. You know what I'm saying? Like I mean that's just what it is, man. That's just what it is. I got a hot in the jacket, but yeah, that's just what it is. That's just what it is. I ain't want to talk on this this subject, bro. I really didn't, cause I'm like, it's kind of obvious what what happened to the Birmingham music scene. It's kind of obvious. And shout out to uh, 93 Michi because he the one posed the question to open up to open up the conversation about this. I feel like jealousy happened, bro. You know what I'm saying? I feel like people felt like they should be in them spots. You know what I'm saying? And and, and never and never uh one of the worst things you can do as an independent artist is try to keep up with how much you done spent like you're gonna discourage yourself every time like you know what i'm saying like don't be like oh man i spent man i done spent goddamn twenty two thousand on this shit i done seen a nigga say that and make forty thousand this song's still banging i done seen this song i done seen this person go to like twenty to forty thousand but then they ain't gonna say well i made it once you make it and, and, and once you double what you done spent on it they don't never complain about that they only complain about what they spent. Don't nobody complain about what they made. You know what I'm saying? So just be quiet about it. 
Gabe the Martian on here. I done had some people on here, man. I done had some people on here today, and I'm just popping it for real. Like, I'm just popping it, you know. I'm just popping it. I just woke up like, uh, let me talk about it a little bit. I mean, th this conversation could be like, this is a real broad topic. So, I mean, you know, it could be over, you know. It's just, it's a lot to talk about, you know what I'm saying? Like, but if you ask me, that's that's what I'm going to say about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you that I feel like people started getting discouraged because they feel like that's supposed to be them in them spots. You know what I'm saying? But really, I think we just lost sight of of, of the goal. You know what I'm saying? Look at Glorilla. One song cover her cost and her whole country. Glorilla also fell off at some point. You know what I'm saying? But I don't feel like Glorilla actually had fell off at some point. But what I don't feel like is that uh, I don't feel like Glorilla ever lost sight of the purpose. What up now? It's like I don't feel like she she lost sight of what she's supposed to be doing. Your fan base. You know how hard it is just to get people just to pay attention? So once you've built the audience of 10, 50, 100, 500, 1,000 people, you're supposed to keep feeding them folks, man. So you're going to let your fans down just because you mad this person got on and they didn't get on. So you're going to let your fans down? Like, that's what's basically going on. Like, if God provided you with, like, some supporters, you're supposed to be giving them something to continuously support. You know what I'm saying? And then one day you're going to get your shot. Everybody get a shot. You just got to realize when it when it's that shot. Like, a lot of the times I've seen artists not recognize, not realize that it's their time. And then they just let it pass them. Like, that can happen too. Like, I've seen artists that's had opportunities and they just kind of just let it just... <sighs> or they get in their own way. They start feeling they self oh, shit, I ain't even got to rap no more. Okay, well, yeah, okay, well, let your fans down. You know, yeah. It's a real finicky game, bro. It's a real finicky game. Glow ran the whole summer. Yeah, she... No, she didn't run the whole summer. I ain't, I ain't gonna say that. Like, sexy, sexy ran the summer, bro. Come on, bro. Like, don't play like that. Glow, now, Glow, Glow got the momentum back going. I ain't gonna even lie to you. She did that, but I feel like it was because... It was because of her networking and who she worked with. You know what I'm saying? Because Glow had went down at one point. I don't know if y'all remember, bro. Like, one thing about this music game that, that's been fed to me is that they always forget. People forget. They forget so. They forget, bro. If you make a hot song, they're going to forget that you was on your ass for a whole year prior to that song. You know what I'm saying? People forget easily. So, keep that in mind, bro. So, keep your keep your audience engaged. Uh, Continue to, uh, what is it? Uh, recreate yourself. You feel me? Continue to do that. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Some eyes, man. What this is? This still a banger. What song that is? Ah, ha, 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 ha. What that is? Outcast. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Roses. <laughs> My son said me that. They say, uh, this still a banger. Definitely a banger. Definitely a banger. But yeah. But yeah, man. Uh, what happened to the Birmingham music scene is we we lost sight of the goal. <laughs> Personally, everybody had everybody lost sight of what they supposed to be doing as an artist. That's what I think happened. I don't I don't think it's nothing more than that. No, I don't think it was the drill. I don't think it was the drill. The drill ain't turned nobody off. Like I, it'll be different to people. Like man, I ain't rapping now, man. Them little niggas drilling. No, bro, that ain't stop shit, bro. Actually, that actually turned it up. Everybody just lost sight of the goal. The goal is you're supposed to be releasing. Shit, God and gave you. Oh, God, please forgive me for that. I don't mean to cuss and say God the same thing. But you supposed, if you got five fans that's listening to you, you're supposed to be continuing dropping something for them five folks. You don't supposed to be stopping. You don't supposed to be stopping. That's how that go. And then you know what's embarrassing? Let me tell you what's embarrassing. Is when one of your supporters put their neck on the line to argue that you gon' like like you hiding, you fighting all this, and then you just quit. You embarrassing your supporters because now when they go back into them same rooms and try to argue with you, they're gonna be like, "What happened to your boy? What happened to your boy last year? You were talking about that was the fires out. You know what I'm saying? What happened to your boy? What happened to your folks? What happened to your folks? 
So that's what happened, bro. Like, don't don't embarrass nobody, bro. For the sake of like uh keeping your supporters satisfied, continue to drop. Shit, I don't think too many people seen Boss Man D Lo first song. Man, oh, thank you for bringing up Boss Man D Lo. Boss Man D Lo worked really, really hard to get to where he's at, bro. I mean, it seemed like it's a fly by night success, but no, that man, man, Boss Man D Lo probably had nine videos out, bro, before he, before y'all even heard of this man. He had a different look and everything, man. He had low hair, all kind of shit. See, what happened was Boss Man D Lo never gave up. He continued to cater to the, the little small fan base he had, and he also. Uh, reinvented himself. You know what I'm saying? Like, he came back with the hell. He changed the way he rapped. All that stuff, bro. And once it started working, he just kept building on it. He kept building on it. That's what it is, bro. Like, don't get discouraged because the person next to you may appear to have gotten further than you. Don't ever, don't get caught up in that, bro. Like, Somebody else's journey ain't your journey, bro. Like, y'all ain't supposed to have the same story. Maybe it wasn't supposed to happen for you like that. You feel me? Maybe one's supposed to happen for you like that. You know. But uh, I ain't going to hold y'all too long. I'm going to get up off of here. But if y'all screenshotting me, uh, put it out there. Whatever y'all want to do with it, it's cool with me. If I made sense to you, that's what's up. If I didn't and you got any questions, don't hesitate to tap in with me in the inbox.